What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. We are getting a super late start to this one. We are actually... We <laughs> We are actually already closed for today. Um, we were we were busy, not crazy busy, but we didn't really have like breaks in between customers, so um, just didn't have a lot of time to film. We do have some trade-ins to show you, some really cool stuff. We also got a bunch of packages delivered today, which we're going to be opening. I just got Abby with me. Ryan already left for the day, um, and we are officially caught up on shipping again um since i was pretty much just working out of the back today i was able to get everything everything packed up and shipped and everything that box that all that stuff there's a couple more here on the counter so those are all going to be dropped off um tonight we're gonna stop at the post office once again on the way home hopefully it's not jammed again um and yeah, the issue that we were having with the website came back. Um, so it's not as bad as it was before because everything is on the website now, but all the trade-ins, like all the stuff that got traded in today did not get uploaded. Um, so I, we don't know what could be causing it at this point. I have uh, emailed, I think, one or two people back um, who had offered to help with the website before. I emailed them back. Um, hopefully we can get some stuff figured out. I think as like a last resort, because I kind of think that whatever the issue is, it has to be on the hosting side of the website. And so switching hosts would be, I think, beneficial. I think that would kind of, you know, fix the error. I do not know what goes into switching a host. Um, I kind of looked into it a little bit earlier and I know you have to you have to copy over your database and all your files and all that kind of stuff. I don't know what all it entails though. I don't know if that is something you can do in a few hours or if it's something that takes a week. I have no idea. But um the guy who was helping um right before we, you know, got everything fixed, uh the guy who was helping who owns Extra Levels, he uses the same inventory software that we do, that's why he was a good person to have help, but he uses a different hosting company, which um, I just use the one that Chris recommended that most of his clients use. They know works, at least works for most people, um, but the guy that owns Extra Levels uses a different hosting company, so that is an option. I just don't really know what all needs to, to go into that, so hopefully we can get it figured out but for now, the website is still up. It's just new stuff will not be uploaded. So kind of sucks, but at least most of the stuff is up there and you guys can still shop and make orders for now. So let's take a look at these trades and then we'll open up some packages. All right, so we have one of these like classic controller things for the Wii or Wii U. We have Disney Infinity and this is not new. I don't know why that's over here. <laughs> for the 360, we have Skyrim Legendary Edition. Black Ops 3, Dance Central 2, uh, Nickelodeon Dance 2, Skyrim, Skyrim, Just Dance 3, Batman Arkham City, Halo Reach, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, Dead Island Riptide with a steelbook, but it is, like, pretty dented and stuff, and then Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, and Batman Arkham City. For the Wii, we have Just Dance 4, Jillian Michaels Fitness Ultimatum, We Fit Plus, We Fit Plus, We Fit... Jillian Michaels, Wii Sports Resort, G-Force, EA Active 2, Go Vacation, Wii Fit Plus, Wheel of Fortune, We Play, Just Dance 4, Just Dance 3, Just Dance 2, and Super Smash Brothers. The reason we have so many filler titles and just, like, stuff that we probably would not normally take is because uh, this came from David. This is all stuff that he ended up getting from the outlet. Um... And like I've said, we try not to turn stuff away. He was just doing store credit as well, so that's fine. Um, but he bought a melon, which is like those giant boxes that are just filled with stuff. And he's never bought like a DVD one before. It's kind of like a mixed media one. It's got DVDs, CDs, Blu-rays, video games, you know, stuff like that. And uh, most of this stuff came out of that. So there's that. We also have Majora's Mask for the N64. And Zelda Collector's Edition for the GameCube. 
This is just a big stack of empty cases that he also got out of that thing. Lots of switch cases there. Unfortunately, they're all empty. We have Brain Age. And then some PS3 games. We have Grand Theft Auto V, Minecraft, Far Cry 3, Little Big Planet Game of the Year, Madden 13, Skyrim, Eco Shadow of the Colossus Collection, and Assassin's Creed Ezio Trilogy. For PS4, we have a PAL copy of Call of Duty World War II. We have Death Stranding and NBA 2K17. For PS2, we have Rygar, Jackass, and Star Wars Battlefront 2. And then we have some movies here. We have Nicktoons Out of the Vault Rewind. So it's got like, I don't know, Danny Phantom doesn't seem to fit in here. I think Danny Phantom is a lot newer than these other ones, but maybe I'm wrong. But still just a cool little DVD. Then we have The Exorcism of Emily Rose, Smiley, and Psycho. Then something that uh, is going into the collection, we have... The Tekken 5 Ultimate Collector's Edition for the PlayStation 2. So it comes with the fight stick. Uh, this is something that I used to own when I lived in Florida. And, you know, sold it, obviously, with my collection when I sold that. And it's one of the items that I've been waiting to get back. But every time I see it, it's way overpriced. This thing goes for, like, 130 to 150 And every time I see it, it's, like, 200 or 250 which is way too much. So this one is kind of... It's got like a little tear right here. It's kind of like wavy on the front. I don't know if you can see. Right here, it's like that. And it's pushed in on this side. But still, pretty cool stuff. And then, the the best stuff we got today. We got a nice Sega Saturn bundle. So we have a memory card. We have the bootleg sampler. The choice cuts thing. Then we have Blackfire. Romance of the Three Kingdoms 4. Madden 97 and NHL 97. And then, there, some of these tags are not on here because uh, these three items are condition upgrades for ours at home. We have all of these, so um, there will be a version of these available for purchase, but not on the website. <laughs> but uh, we have the Virtua Fighter 2 Virtual Cop and Daytona USA, like not for resale, triple pack thing. So we have this at home, but our box is crushed. So it's just an upgrade. Same with the Nights into Dreams controller bundle. Um, the guy that traded the stuff in said that he bought everything here brand new. He was the original owner, which is pretty cool. So this is in very nice condition. Ours is in nice condition as well. So this one is not like a massive upgrade. Uh, but still, I'm pretty sure this one's better than ours. So we're going to swap them. And then lastly, we have the actual system. The Virtua Fighter bundle. It's got everything in there. I'm not going to pull it all out. I think he said the only thing it's missing is the instructions. Um, this is the same guy that traded in the Vectrex and some other stuff. Um, boxed GameCube and everything was... Well, the Vectrex had it, but the GameCube was also missing the paperwork. And I think that he has them somewhere. It's just he ended up taking the manuals out and kept them separate somewhere and has not found them yet. So... Uh, this is going to be an upgrade for the one we have at home as well. Like I said, I'm going to combine them because I'm pretty sure ours does have the manuals. So I'll keep the whatever is the better condition one, and then the rest will come back for the store. So those are all the trades from today, maybe minus a couple consoles. I know that uh, we got... Oh no, those are not all the trades. We also got an NES here, an NES there. Two... Are all three of those Wii's from today or just two? Just two. So two of those Wii's are from today. And then we also got a Game Genie for Super. Another boxed cleaning kit. So we have three of them now. And then we have Gradius 3. NCAA Football. Galaga. Dr. Mario. Little Nemo Dream Master. Gyrus. And Chess Master with a big crack in it. <laughs> So, and then maybe these are from today as well. Donkey Kong Country 2 and, well, this one's from today. I know that because I remember, I remember that part of it. So, yep, that's all the stuff. So let's take a look and open up these packages. Yeah. So we have a package here from Fan Gamer. I've been waiting for this for a while. Uh, we had two little 
things. This is the artist series and it just includes like a picture of like a game, like fan art, I think. We have another one above the exit sign that is the windfish from uh, Link's Awakening. And then we have this from Persona 5. It's just a sticker. So uh, Stardew Valley, we have two copies. This was not a physical game for the Switch until recently, but it was physical on the Xbox One and PS4. So this is being released like a year and a half later after the others. And then... Why is there two of them? Because... One's for the closet and one's for the collection. <laughs> and then we have this. I don't know what this is. We have a, two posters. Oh. I have two of these at home too because it came with the strategy guide. So two of those posters. And then, oh, I'm so excited. We have the collector's edition. I will be opening this by the way. I've good, already told you that. Good thing we got two of them. And we do have two of them. I'm so excited. It has like cool stuff included. Abby's favorite game or one of them. Look how cute this little guy is at the top with his little sunflower. <laughs> so it comes with a uh, illustrated instruction booklet, the, bo the box, a deluxe six piece wooden standee, a wooden lapel pen, 15 pay or 14 page comic, a deed to your farm, and a polyester nylon blend cleaning cloth. Oh, I'm so excited to open this. We're gonna go home and I'm gonna open it. I'm really excited. The other one's gonna go in the closet. Or no, the other one's gonna go in the collection. And this one goes, this is mine. All right, so. Open I'm, it carefully. I'm not sure what this one is. Here. It's got. Looking through the light, you can cut it on this side. Okay. It's got like a bunch of different stamps on it. it. Says like media mail, fragile, confidential, rush. They're all stamped multiple times, and it's got a bunch of actual like actual stamps on it. Coming from Illinois. Maybe it's just like a manual or something. I don't think I've ordered any manuals. Oh, I bought these a while ago. I'm surprised they just now got here. So, these are postcards that I bought. Um, I bought them because they were super cheap. These were like a dollar plus shipping. <laughs> so, we have a Fantasy Star Online Dreamcast card. The person that was selling these exclusively sold postcards. <laughs> they had hundreds of them. And these were the only two video game ones that they had. So, I got that one. And then this is the one I saw first, and this is the reason I didn't bought them in the first place. This is a fantastic Nintendo 64 promotional postcard. This is from the year 2000. It says Nintendo 64 now comes in six new colors. Pick your favorite and let the plundering begin. So yeah, I bought these off eBay, but that was... I forgot about these because that was like three weeks ago. Yeah, don't, don't send your stuff with... Let's see if I can cover their address. Don't send your stuff with like stamps and stuff. Cause, and this isn't even, is this media mail? Does this count as media mail? I don't know. That took way too long to get here. <laughs> okay. We have more packages. There's only, oh, this is boring. I'm more opening too. It is a uh, Vita joystick. Um, we had one with a drifting joystick and it's super easy to fix and it's super, uh, easy to just pop it open and get it out. So I bought that. That arrived really quick. We have another... What? We have a bubble mailer with this in it and it got bent and it got crushed on his head. Idiots. But, so we got this. This is something that Cooper spent some money on. It wasn't that much. Yeah. It was like $24. Yeah, it definitely got, like, smushed. And, like, look at his sword. It's all... This is not, obviously, from shipping. Oh, well. The sword's dirty. Still very cool. It's Ocarina of Time. 1998. Very cool. That is super cool. This next one here is from Strictly Limited in Germany. Weird box. Should be, we just gonna have to destroy the box to open it. Should be Switch games 
or Switch game. <gasps> it's Switch games. More than one. Well, it's two of the same game. <laughs> we have... Ease Origin. With a... What do you call this? Lenticular? Um, no, it's like a... Put your drink on it. Oh, a coaster. Coaster, yes. Little coaster and Ease Origin. For the collection. We got two copies. So, one will be to trade in the future for something we don't have. Okay, so we have another package. Um, I don't know who sent this one. I think it, I wanna say it's eBay, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I can tell you if it's eBay. Adventure Island 2? Oh, this is from uh, Recycle. Oh. I should have known that because it says RVG on it. I just thought, I was like, I don't know who that is. We have Batman. Um, it is kind of a little rough looking. We have Snowcross. This is all just stuff for the store that I ordered from Recycle's website. We have their the receipt for the whole transaction. And then we have Rap Jam Volume 1, Pro Sport Hockey, Vortex. And then we have three more in here. They're mostly cheaper games, but we just need everything we can get, basically. Ridge Racer 64, Ready to Rumble Boxing's pretty rough. Ooh, yeah, it is. And then... <laughs> Poor Buck Bumble! <laughs> Rip. <laughs> oh, man. That is it for that package. And then we have two, three more packages that I think I'm just going to have Cooper show. We do have more packages coming from Recycle as well. Oh, I bought stuff from all four of their stores. Ooh. All right. Next package is coming from Retropolis Thrift, which is in Florida. I know we've received at least one package from them before. The front of the package just says random stuff, covers, inserts, bootlegs. So we'll see what's going on in here. We have, uh, we have a bootleg Pokemon Silver. <laughs> no, that's really real. It's yeah, it just for says the game. game. What's that look like? The the label is maybe peeling off a little bit. I don't even want to touch it. It feels bad. <laughs> even the 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 plastic case is a bootleg. Yeah. Also, it's pretty bad. Not the correct screw. Plus, it's not silver. <laughs> It's a gray cartridge. And then looks like we just have a bunch of manuals here. Some PS3, PS4. I'm not going to go through all of them, of course. I see some Switch stuff in there. Yeah, there's some Switch artworks. Xbox 360. Some GameStop conference thing. <laughs> Xbox One. Some more Xbox One. There's Xbox 360, Wii, some more Wii ones, There's a couple discs, Wii U. What's that? There's like a map towards the end. Oh, I guess. That? No. The Evil Within? Never mind, it's okay. Oh, this one. Is that Sky Skyrim? Yeah, it is. Thank you. And then... Gran Turismo 2, Simulation Mode Disc, Nicktoons MLB, and FIFA Soccer 2003 with Top Scratches. <laughs> so Ryan can have that one. So thank you to Retropolis Thrift. We... It'll be tough to use stuff like this, but the Wii ones and... Switch ones. Like, yeah, everything else. I mean, even even the Xbox ones, we we save all this stuff. We don't, you know... I'm assuming that they sent this to us because it was either send it to us or throw it away. And... Or recycle it. And we would rather... We'd rather hold on to it and not let it get thrown away. Because, I mean... Yeah, I mean, that's if, just if how everyone, it is. If everyone threw this stuff away, it'd be so much harder to find. GameStop already throws away enough. <laughs> yeah, and it's, I mean, it's not like we are like that with everything. It's just game manuals and game artwork. Yeah, like, we'll throw away the boxes for our other electronics and stuff like that. But with when it comes to video game stuff, it's just always nice to save this kind of stuff. Like, even this little 
game add-on thing. Like, it's got a code on the back, I guess, if, if it's not been used, you guys can, can use it. But just stuff like this, it's nice to, to hold on to it. We, we have it all separated in the back, so whenever we get in games that are missing a manual or they're just disc only, we do try to complete them. And it's, it feels good to be able to, you know, to pair stuff back together. So thank you to them for sending us those. We will definitely find a good use for them. Might take 10 years, but we'll do it. This next one is an eBay purchase, and that is Ocarina of Time. It's a little rough, but uh, I believe this was like $15, <laughs> which is pretty cheap. And then we have a package from GameStop, and then, what is that one? I don't know. Okay, so we have two left. The first one's from GameStop, and then the other one, we'll find out when we open it. We still, I believe, should have more packages coming from GameStop. I haven't ordered anything in a few days now. Um, the last time I looked, they weren't doing any sort of special deals. Packing slip, please. Packing slip for Abby. All right. We have Mario Party 3. Man, that label is ugly. It looks good, but from far away, but it's like, I don't even know. Faded. It's weird. And then we have Super Mario World, Mario Advance 2. We have two of those. We have Ocarina of Time. We have Super Mario 64. Not seeing any bootlegs yet. We have another Mario Party 3. This one's in really nice condition. Not a bootleg. We have Mario Kart. Everything's falling. We have another Mario 64. We have a Mario World Mario All-Stars double cart. Completely missing the back label. We have another Ocarina of Time. This label's really faded. And the... The back is ripped. We have another Mario Kart. And we have a Mario Party 1. We have another Mario Party 1 with a faded label. And then we have a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team for Game Boy Advance. There are two of those. couple more N64 games. We have two copies of GoldenEye. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but we're trying to stock up on, on stuff. We have two copies of Pokemon Sapphire, both legit. We have another Mario World Mario Wall Stars. We have two Pokemon Rubies, both legit. And finally, we have two copies of Contra for the NES. Awesome! So, last package. It's a small one. Mm -hmm. This is from Discount Games 101. Probably eBay. Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh these yeah. are so cool. Okay, I'm gonna let you open these because I want your reaction to be caught. Well, I already know what they are. I know, but they're cool. So, oh no! One of them got messed up. So, I bought these off eBay at the same time I bought this thing. Um, yeah, one of them, one of them came out of the package. So, these are Nintendo 64 magnets um, from... 1997. They're in like so, kind of rough shape. Yeah, the back's all gross looking. But there's Mario. There's the Nintendo 64 logo. There's Donkey Kong. And then unfortunately, there's Bowser, but he came out of his packaging. There's a big hole in the top. So we're just gonna gonna pop him right back in there if he'll fit come on yay <laughs> you can't even really tell from a distance well there's a huge hole in the top but um 
yeah, I, I've always thought that these are really cool, and I wanted to get... This is a full set, by the way. They only made four. And um, I was looking at them the other day because I was like... I was like, I have a little bit of money to spend on eBay, and I was trying to find, like, uh, some GameCube games that we need, but all the all the ones that are hard to find that we need, I can't find. They're all overpriced right now. So I was looking at other stuff, and... Um, I was looking at like one of these by itself and it was like $15 or something. And I was like, that doesn't seem bad, but I'd like to get the full set. So at 15 bucks a piece, you know, that adds up. That's like $60 for the four. So I just kept scrolling down, looking at all of them. And then someone had all four of them listed for 45. So I thought that was a decent price. These are obviously going to go in the collection. Same with the link figure. Um, but yeah, I just think they're really cool, and I love N64, obviously, so not now that we can't really get any more games, aside from not for resales or gray cart variants or other variants, you gotta start collecting some other N64 stuff, so I got the full set. So we have two more packages that were in the mailbox. Uh, we have a Super Mario 64. Is it legit? The back is... Looks a little funky, to be honest with you. Here you go, you can look at it while I look at this. Oh, yeah, it looks legit to me. I think it was just the plastic. Yeah. And then we have another package. These are both from eBay. This says, thank you, Cooper. This is from eBay. Um, really well packed for what it is. I mean, like, great packing, but... We have another Super Mario 64. <laughs> this is in way better shape. Legit? Yeah. Sweet. More for the store. Okay, let's go holiday shopping. We're buying some Christmas lights because last year we didn't really, we didn't really feel we didn't like we were in the Christmas yeah, mood. No, we weren't. And we definitely want to feel that this year. So we're going to be decorating the inside of the house. We have Alexa at home, so... For anyone listening, we can go home and say, Alexa, play Christmas music. <laughs> and it will happen. And I'm sure it just happened for some of you guys. <laughs> but we're going to be doing that. We're going to do that every night when we get home so that we can listen to the Christmas music, get us in the Christmassy mood. We're going to have the lights and everything. Might be setting up a little bit early, but we don't care. It's going to be fun. All right, guys, we got our lights up. I didn't want to get the multicolor ones, but... Abby wanted to, and I didn't care enough to say no. <laughs> so they're plugged in. I did say yes to make you happy. We were, we were going to try to get like blue and white, but they didn't have any, like you could get a strand of blue and a strand of white, but they don't have ones where it's like blue, white, blue, white, unless you get the really big ones and they were like too expensive. This one was, how long was this in like, oh, it's the... The thing's right here. 93 and a half feet for 25 bucks. And the 20 foot ones were $10 a piece. <laughs> so it goes all the way around. All the way down. All the way across. And back around. And we got it hooked up to the Alexa. So she can turn them on and off. And then we also just say... Alexa, play Christmas music. Here's a station you might like. Holiday favorites on <gasps> Amazon. Holiday YouTube. favorites. So it gets all Christmassy in here. And so now that we're all in the Christmas mood, we're going to watch Criminal Minds. All right, guys. I took a nap. It's time for bed. It's like 1230 or something. Yeah. <sighs> it's one. It's one. I woke you up at 1230. You laid there for and 30 minutes. <laughs> I also forgot my computer at the store, so I have to edit this vlog in the morning. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you again tomorrow.